which consists mainly of, uh, also of infernants, where we melt the alloy. Then we use the, the dosing system where we do bring in the melt in the container, transfer it to the casting chamber on the back side. Then the casting chamber is filled, the plunger moves and then fills the cavity, which means the mold. So you can see here the mold with one slider, which then out of that we create our part structure. The part itself will then be, after some cooling time, removed automatically with a robot and then we check on the back side of the machine is every, uh, if the whole part geometry is filled. And then it's automatically extracted and then we can do some further movement or we can characterize it, cut it, whatever necessary. We have this fully automatic high-pressure die-casting cells um, and it runs fully automatically which means uh, there is just a control unit where you can set the process parameter but the rest of the casting process itself is being done by the peripheric and the machine itself which means after the casting is completed the door opens, the robot so the cast will be extracted, the robot takes the biscuit, brings the part out, part out. Here we can see the automatic part control, where we can see if the whole part is properly extracted out of the mold, and if everything is fine, then we transfer the part to the extraction here, where then uh, a guy can remove it then and bring it further to um, processes or characterization which are required for our next step within the process chain. When we have casted the part, we continue with the first visual control where we check the surface, we see if the part is properly filled, if there are some cracks or failure inside the part. If everything is okay, then we proceed and we go on with the further characterization of the material, So, which means in particular mechanical property characterization or metallographic structure analysis, where we then focus on the material properties itself.